Greetings and welcome to the Cosplay Closet, a show where we take cosplayers, make them get undressed, and then put them in cool new clothes inspired by their cosplay. Today, Chloe and I are going to take a little walk on the dark side. Anna, can you feel our excitement? I hope these puns don't feel too forced. And Chloe's never allowed to write the scripts again. <laughs> well, we're super excited for the new movie, so we decided that we're going to do a little throwback Thursday, and uh, we decided to have our friend Dupree Jones come on. Dupree, come on out! Oh my god! Ah! This is amazing! <laughs> oh, it's like really weird when we're just looking straight That's at so you. That's so terrifying! <laughs> Stop! Okay, <laughs> hi! Hi, Dupree! How are you doing today? I'm great, how are you? <laughs> so, Dupree, can you, how long have you been cosplaying as Darth Vader? A little over four years now. Yeah? Uh, can you tell us about your costume? I didn't get it all at once. It literally took a year of buying and making, custom making different pieces and waiting on different vendors to make different pieces for, you know, for this. And I was also building other costumes at the same time too, so it took a little, a lot longer than I, I thought it initially would. Uh, the helmet and the armor are all fiberglass pieces, but the helmet is the heaviest part, like, of the cost of it's at least 12 pounds. Jeez, how long can you wear this before you want to die? I've been doing this so long that I've toughed it out at Comic-Con for 12 hours. Jesus. I bet you have the strongest core ever. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> One of the first things you'll notice about this costume is that it's obviously an incredibly striking look. All black with small silver and red accents with here and there blue or other light up pieces. We're gonna take the shoulder pads into the final piece as well using that black and silver uh, linear design. We're also gonna draw inspiration from the chest box and the belt, which are both fantastic. It's a very powerful, chic style. Uh, we are not afraid of making this an everyday cosplay look. Well, before we make Dupree get naked, let's teach the folks at home how to tie a tie without accidentally force choking themselves. Take it away, kitty! So to start with the tie tutorial, we're gonna do an Eldridge knot, which is a really, really fancy, classy knot. Uh, to start, you're gonna put the tie, make sure it's right at your belt buckle. We're gonna take the skinny side of the tie, cross it over the fat side, go around the back, make it go upwards. We're gonna go through the circle right here, so we see the back side of the tie. Loop it around and go up on the inside. And then go around the, uh, around the back side of it. And we're gonna go through this hole that we just made. Now with, with it out here, we're gonna go up and around the inside of this section, the right side of your neck. Don't strangle yourself while you do this. And then over and around to the other side, this is a really confusing knot and I apologize, but you're gonna look classy as And then around to here, and then it just tucks into this back section. And then if you're wearing a dress shirt, as I am not, um, it tucks into the dress shirt collar. So how, how gross does that look? I hope that's not too shitty of a tutorial. Now that I showed you guys how to get super fancy, let's go ahead and say bye bye to Vader. Bye bye Vader. I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop this. Hey guys. Oh my god! Ah! You look amazing. Super Thank chic. You. you look sexy. Wow, Thank this is you. how do you feel? I feel great. I feel less stifled. Yeah? <laughs> it looks a little more comfortable yeah, than your other costume. Yeah. How do you feel? Like, where would you go in this in this outfit? I feel like I would be the douchiest day shift manager ever. <laughs> Just, At, like, Best Buy? Yeah, like, you know, you have failed me for the last time. <laughs> do you feel like a new man? Do I do. Like do you feel like you could get all of the rebel ladies? Do you think you could I do. Like, bring ladies. them to the dark side? Come on, I got the I got the the snazzy tie, the mm -hmm. watch. Like, what's watch your favorite part? What do you like? I really like the watch, though. You can't I have really, it. It's I, I know it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's Vader, so we'd have to be complete idiots if we didn't do an all black ensemble. So of course we have a black dress shirt and slacks. So it's not all just straight black. We brought in a belt buckle that's silver, uh, carbon fiber, and it looks very reminiscent of Vader's actual belt. 
Vader also has a little bit of silver in his costume on the shoulders, so I wanted to bring that in in the tie, which is also accented by the Imperial symbol tie clip. Everyone's got black dress shoes, so our guy brought his own. And finally, this is my favorite touch. Uh, to bring in the red that's in his breathing apparatus, we have a red pebble watch with a Darth Vader watch face. The shirt was from Express and that was $60. The pants were also from Express and they were $98. The belt was Original Penguin and it was $20. The pebble watch was $99. The tie was from ties.com and was $18. The tie clip was from Amazon and was $34. Reach into the dark side of your wallet because this look cost $329, but you look fabulous. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our silly show. And if you didn't, Sith happens. You're not my real dad. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. And make sure you follow us on Twitter. I'm at Skydart. I'm at Al Hoffer Design. And leave some comments in the section below. Let us know what you'd like to see on the future episodes. Bye, everybody. Ow. 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 What does that sound like? It sounds like hell. <laughs>